Assalamu alaikum. Hi everyone. Um, <laughs> for those who don't know me yet, my name is Zara Riza. I am an Australian new revert and I started a bit of a crazy journey or maybe eight months ago now. So I'm in the process of sharing that journey with a few people and I did an editorial for the ABC um, and I've had quite um, just an outstanding response from doing that interview. Um, so I thought I'd watch the video and just play back some of my thoughts and clarify a few questions because I had some questions after the video was released. So yeah, so it gives me an opportunity to kind of answer a few more of the commonly asked questions about the video and yeah hopefully it clears things up for some people there's this mobile phone game set in the Ottoman Empire that has some pretty sexist online advertising and according to Demi Lovato yeah, yeah it does shapes. But for a Brisbane woman named Zara, the game actually helped her gain an international friendship and find out many about many friendships. Fate. So I decided to call up Zara and the player who introduced her to Islam, Kim, who lives in Singapore. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam. I want to give you a big hug. <laughs> <laughs> so how did you guys meet? We met on this game called Games of Sultan. Zara is um, always the force in that game, okay? She's always very friendly, very helpful. So I'm drawn to her from the start, but we don't really speak um, until I join the same team. When I first downloaded the game, it was out of curiosity coming across on Facebook ads and like really like intensely wrong Facebook ads and I'm like surely there can't be a game like this that would yes. talk about women in that way and then I downloaded it and really just the connections that I made within the game to people came at such an important time in my life perhaps I was really lonely like not happy in my career not happy in my personal life yeah I guess what I mean by unhappy in my career is for the longest time probably since i was 15 my job has defined who i am as a person so i've always weighted my success and happiness around how successful and happy i was at work and it's led me to the workplace that i'm in now which is one of the most incredible workplaces i've ever worked for uh, amazing amazing company and i work with some super talented individuals um so yeah, I'm super lucky to be there, but for me, I guess I've come to realize more so in my 30s now that not everything has to be about career and perhaps, you know, my ambition has hindered my ability to form really amazing personal relationships because I have put all my time and effort into bettering myself and working on my career. So how did you find out that Kim was Muslim? When our, the leader of that union started to get serious on we we're going to win and be the best team, I would crush our she created a chat group in Discord. And so we all uploaded some photos and a little bit about each other so we could get to know each other better. And one of the photos I saw Kim was wearing a hijab. My only prior to exposure to Islam was a few years ago. One of my best friends, um, basically started dating a Muslim Afghani gentleman and he was at the time saying he was practicing but now knowing more about the faith I see he really wasn't practicing he was very controlling of her so of course when she she was going through the journey of wearing the hijab I that on top of what I guess you see in the media with all the terrorism and all the negativity around um, Islam, I 
thought that the hijab was a sign of oppression. Yeah, so a crazy thing happened. So after this video and editorial got released, the girl who I haven't spoken to for over 12 years Facebook messaged me. Um, so yeah, so she Facebook messaged me and said, I don't know if you would want me to reach out or not, but there's so much I can want to catch up with you. Would you want to catch up? And of course I said yes. I won't go into too much detail now, but I'll um, elaborate on that later. I just was blown away with how wrong I was. And I felt really aligned with the equality piece of, you know, when a woman covers, it becomes about people getting to know her for who she is, not her physical appearance or the way that she looks. And what was it like for you, Zara, going on this game, finding a friend in Kim and then finding out about Islam? Because I was atheist before this. I didn't believe in God. So I think if anybody had have been almost preaching in a way to me or wanting to teach me, it would not have worked. Like, I just don't think I would have listened. But I think because Kim was so con reserved and if anything, I had to extract information out of her time <laughs> because she was so conscious of not forcing her faith on me. I love Kim so much. She's just such a great human. I have no words can express how awesome she is and how much support she's given me, not only with learning about Islam, but just in general, just in life support. If I've had a tough time, she's been there for me, uh, which is really strange from someone who I've never met. So I cannot wait to finally meet her. Um, in Singapore and hopefully if I can convince her because Kim is such a shy person um, I'd be happy to document our first meet, meet up I just have to think about how I'd convince her to be okay with that this has been a journey for me I didn't just come out and say hey guys I'm gonna become a Muslim you know it started with I asking Kim one day, I'm like, hey Kim, is it offensive for me to try on the hijab? I'd really like to wear it. And this is not the purpose of hijab, but I actually felt more beautiful covered. I started with wearing a head turban to work. So I just bought a scarf, some scarves and, and tied it at the front. And initially no one said anything because it was just me wearing a, a head scarf. Um, and then after a couple of days, some of the team were curious. They're like, hey, did you have a bad haircut? Are you starting a new trend? And then it became an organic conversation. Well, actually, I'm actually learning more about Islam. So I'm not sure if I want to wear hijab or not, but I'm just starting. So I'm finding out. Yeah, I think a big thing that I'm starting to notice, and I guess a reason why I want to put together a platform where people can ask questions a lot of Australians have questions about Islam and the hijab, just like I did. But just like I did, they don't have anyone who they feel comfortable to ask those questions. They start off that interaction profusely apologizing and not wanting to be offensive. So for me, I guess the aim is I'd really like to have a platform where people can feel comfortable asking questions about Islam. So yeah, that's why I've started some social media pages. I've got the Facebook page and I'll start YouTube just to start documenting my journey. Yeah, I'm crazy busy this week with getting everything out of the house. I've almost sold my entire life pretty much so i'm coming to the couch surfing homeless part which should be interesting um so wish me luck with that i might have some footage around that uh if you want to continue following my journey and my weird and wonderful story uh, press like and subscribe for more content i'll have some more videos coming out soon thanks again guys for watching assalamu alaikum from your blue-eyed hijabi friends.